Hello everybody, and welcome to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, with me, the Dragoclaw. So, many of you will probably know about the Elder Scrolls series, uh, particularly Skyrim, that was released a... Oh god, four years ago. That makes me feel old. Um, yeah. But this is Oblivion, the uh, precursor to that. And... This is my Let's Play of it. Initially, I wasn't going to play this game, or any of the Elder Scrolls games, because... Of just the sheer number of LPs that are already out there, and plenty of them have done it fantastically. So, I didn't think I had too much to add, but recently I've, uh, if you've been a subscriber of my channel, have not been putting out too much at the moment, and I have not had much time, and I decided, well, I feel like playing Oblivion, so let's just play Oblivion. Um, I did decide to put a bit of a, ran a spin on it, as you'll probably notice from the title and the description. Uh, just to kind of differentiate mine from the rest of the crowd that have already done it. Um, yeah, sorry, I got distracted there. I, uh, many, I've got many windows open at the moment. Uh, what I have planned to do requires a lot of... Um, a lot of that. A lot of windows. Um, so, basically, I'm just going to describe here what I plan to do. If you already know what... If you have an idea or want to skip this, I'll put a link in the description of where to skip where the gameplay begins. Um, but basically I've come up with a sort of hardcore challenge, well it's not really hardcore, I suppose hardcore will be turning the difficulty of way up to the top, which I'm not going to do because I am not that good at the game. But basically my idea is to randomly choose absolutely everything in the game. Sort of play it like a tabletop RPG with like random number generators uh, to decide the fate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a character, and I, it's going to be completely random. I've got some random number generators, which you'll be able to see in the game. In fact, if I Alt-Tab here, oops, I said Alt-Tab, God damn it. Oblivion, stop capturing my cursor, there we go. You can see here in the bottom right hand corner, I have a, a random number generator. Uh, which one of these windows is it? This one. Uh, so I can choose uh, to generate a random number between any value I would like, and the result will appear here. Uh, so this is what I'll be using to choose my skills and um, things of that nature. Uh, this is basically like my roller 1d20, for example, in D&D. Then I also have something relatively unique, I think, um, which is going to be deciding all of my main decisions. So I can't really do that with a random number generator. So essentially I have got a magic 8 ball. Which you can see, oh sorry, game game gone. Um, oops. Ah shit. It, it'll be back, but for now enjoy the magic 8 ball. Um, is it the screen? I believe in? Okay, it's back. So, as I was saying, the random of the uh, magic 8 ball. Basically, Whenever I have to make a decision in the game, like basically anything at all, like should I join the Mages Guild, I first have to ask the Magic 8 Ball, and whatever it comes out with, I have to obey. This also goes for uh, less important choices, um, but you know, anything that I feel needs to be, um, or change the direction of the game, I'll ask the 8 Ball before I do it. It's got plenty of um, different options. I have chose... I made my own, basically, because I didn't like the uh, standard one. It was too too vague. Uh, this one will be a... is a personalised one. It's even got a few Oblivion and Elder Scrolls references in it. So, you know, I thought that would add to the character. Um, I suppose the best way to show this is by going into the game. Uh, actually, before that, I should probably say I am allowed to respawn but only if the Magic 8 Ball gives me a yes. So if I would say, oh, Magic 8 Ball, I've just died, may I respawn? I'm going to click this button. I'll click it again because I wasn't sure if that was a yes or not. Sure, why not? So then I'll be able to respawn. But if I died again and asked the same question, it would happen to say yes. This Magic 8 Ball really likes me today. It, did, it was not the case a few moments ago. Uh, but basically, I can keep um, clicking this get, uh, button, it will give me um, either a vague answer, a positive answer, or a negative answer. 
So it's up to me to inter interpret how the vague answers are, just to add a bit more flair to it instead of just yes and no all the time. Sometimes it will be a completely random answer and it won't even help me, so I'll have to try and figure something out on the fly. Uh, but let me just remove these two. I'm also going to try and do a bit of roleplay uh, where I'm, when I can. Um, but beyond that, it's going to be a fairly standard Oblivion Let's Play. Uh, whatever I do will be decided by the Magic 8 Ball. It's the only real difference. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new game here. I am going to be quiet for the intro because I love the intro. So, um, hope you enjoy. Start a new game. I should also point out before the thing starts, this is a very heavily modified version of Oblivion. I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years I've ruled as Tamriel's Emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of Oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness a doom sweeps the land. This is the 27th of Last Seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the Third Era, and the final hours of my life. Here we are in the game. So as you can immediately see, I've got a, quite a few mods here just to improve the general graphics. Um, when it was first released, the um, <laughs> character generation was not the greatest. Um, thankfully there are, is a fantastic modding community out here which made all these fantastic mods, which I'll explain as I go through or at least put in the description. Um, so now begins the random number generation, so this is not going to be the greatest of content. Uh, but here we go. So I have back here, uh, you can hear it opening, the manual for Oblivion, the Game of the Year edition. And in it, there is a list of races. I believe it is in alphabetical order, and it will be the uh, thing which I ch choose my race as, if that sentence made any sense. So each of these races are going to be assigned a number 1 to 10 and I will use this random number generator down here to decide uh, what race I am. So, a random number between 1 and 10. Generate 6. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I am a Khajiit. That is... <laughs> this is already going to be a fantastic LP. <laughs> so, here I am, Khajiit. We've done quite a bit of detail on this as well. I have not actually played too much with the um, mods. Uh, I've just basically uh, installed the ones I remembered that were pretty good and followed a Reddit post I recalled from a few years ago, I guess. Um, everything about this Kashyyyk I'm going to have to randomize. Um, yeah. Oh, that's okay, I guess. I don't know how changed that is from the stock face, but it, it's a good face. Uh, now what about his hair? I can't really randomize that, can I? So I suppose I could just... <laughs> I 
suppose I could just keep clicking on this until it uh, cycles and then just randomly stop at some point. I'm not looking at the screen right now, so I don't know where I'm going to stop. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's an interesting hairstyle. I, I will have to go with that. I might as well make them long. <laughs> like, if you're going to go with that style of hair, you've got to go all in. Alright. Age. Oh, that chooses what your skin looks like. I kind of wish I hadn't modified that now. I'll keep it there and keep everything pretty much the same. Now, for the name, I am going to go to a website. Um, I can't actually put this on the screen, or I could, but I don't. I didn't think about this beforehand. This is actually a last minute thing I thought of. Um, but I'm going to go to wordgenerator.net. I'm then going to generate a noun, or sorry, a fake word, and then a noun. So, first of all, the fake word will be the name, and then the noun will be... Um, oh wait, no, not noun, did I say noun? I mean, ob um, adjective. So, let's just generate the uh, fake word, which will be our first name. And that is called Neocast. So we have Neocast, and let's generate an objective. Neocast, the salty. <laughs> oh boy. Neocast, the salty. And apparently I moved the camera around. Did not know you could do that in the editor. I suppose that's something to do with the uh, mods I've got installed. But this is our sheet, Neocast the Salty. And let's get going, shall we? I should probably also take down that random number generator in the corner. That's probably quite annoying. Uh, OBS. Take that down. So here we are in prison. There's a rat in my cell. Oh, and hello there. That tasty rat. Does the kitty want it? Is the kitty... You'd better take whatever you can get in here, Kashi. They don't feed the new prisoners. Didn't you know that? First, they starve you. Then, they beat you. Then, if you're lucky, they kill you. That's right. You're going to die. Hey, you hear that? The gods are coming. For you. <laughs> I will enjoy it when I get the chance to kill you. Also, I'm going to turn on the subtitles. There we go. Just because I don't know how quiet these guys are. No, they're dead. I know it. My job right now is to get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. Usual mix up with the watch. I. Never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. You, prisoner. I'll stand, stand over here by the. Over by the window. Window. Stay out of the way. Stay put, prisoner. Good. Yes, Let's sir. go. We're not out of this yet. You. I've seen you. Captain. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. <laughs> then the but physics on that are right. Slightly bugged. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. What is going on? Assassins attack my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. Uh... Sounds I am your you. emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. Why am I in jail? Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. Um, slightly off topic, but by the way, this video should be in 60 frames per second. There will be stutters now and then, just because Oblivion's uh, can get a bit clunky when it's heavily modded like it is. Um, although it should be in 60 frames per second, so hopefully it's a good show for you guys. So do we all. 
But what path can be avoided whose end is fixed by the almighty gods? Please, sire, we must keep moving. Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. Looks like this Don't is your lucky try. day. I'm we'll watching. Stay out of our way. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is open up my inventory here and assign hotkeys. So I like to assign two to be my healing and we'll assign Eye of Night to be four. This is basically a night vision um, for 30 seconds. Uh, so if I cast it now, we can uh, see all around us without the need for a torch. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> I accidentally showed my desktop there. I don't know if you saw that, but um, uh, yeah, I <laughs> my entire screen just went blank there, and I thought I'd done something. Stand aside, no, I'm standing aside. Close up, the <laughs> uh, I apologise if this is a bit dark for you. I know YouTube can be like that. I think I'll just hold my torch. Are you all right, sire? We're clear for now. Captain Reno. She's. I know this is a touching moment and all, but you got to loot corpses. Uh, I don't need your clothes. Don't need your clothes. Are you the one with the? Yeah, one of these guys is a. Oh, I thought that was another guy with a potion. Don't know. I guess not then. Oh, there we go. Uh, where's that katana? They won't be the first to underestimate the there it is. I'll take point. Let's move. You stay here, prisoner. Don't try to follow. Uh, okay, but you've already sprung me free from jail. I think you might as well just take me with you. Well, looks like we're gonna have to find our own way out of here. Uh, so as I said, I'm not putting this on a high difficulty, uh, just because it can get obs insanely hard on a high difficulty. Um, I what's the default stop running or continuous run? Okay, that's caps lock. Really inconveniently. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to turn up the difficulty because it's uh, it will get very difficult difficult very quickly. Um, but you know, this this is a way of making it very difficult because. I could get very bad rolls on my skills and uh, birth sign later on, so um, it's definitely not without risk. And I have to roll to make all my decisions. What if I decide that I have to assassinate someone using a oil lantern? Uh, did I grab everything off you? Everything but the dagger. I'll also keep accidentally pressing escape to get out of that menu. Um, too many other video games. I don't even know precisely which one. Also, just to hold over from DVZ, I like to put my bow in my third bar and my sword in my first bar. Although, to be fair, I did that before I ever played DVZ, so... Who knows, maybe that, that DVZ thing is a holdover from this. So equip that, get the shield and stuff on my bar. Do I want... Do I want a torch? No, I've got night vision. Uh, which I will con try and continuously cast uh, for your benefit. I'll do the tutorial stuff. Oops. I accidentally fired off one arrow there because I hit the mouse button when that tutorial popped up and it cancelled my uh, cancelled my thing. I'll also try and show off some of the secrets I know about this place. Like every single time I go through the tutorial. I feel like I've got everything, but then there's always these like hidden little chests that uh, pop up that I don't even know about, and like I've seen LPs that are, like people have just gone past and like, oh yeah, this barrel here, I know about this barrel, and I had no idea that that barrel was there. So you know, hopefully this will help you in your journeys through the game. Man, this night vision doesn't last long, does it? So you might notice it's a bit darker in caves naturally. Um, that's because of, oh sorry, it's a bit darker in caves than it would be normally. Uh, that's because of the um, mods. I've got one mod that uh, makes caves a little bit more realistic. 
as in darker, and improves the um, textures on them as well. I suck at firing spells. Come on. Wait. God damn it! My my cursor is not bound to the screen. That, that's concerning. Uh, I'm gonna switch to a sword. I don't really need to use a bow and everything in here. I'm ever gonna take all the heavy iron armor because who knows I might end up being a uh, warrior, which I very rarely am in these games. I'm usually either a mage or a stealthy guy. As, yeah, as I was saying about the um, items, if you guys know of anything that I'm missing, then feel free to tell me. Okay, I'm not gonna fight these rats, or at least that one rat, because I know there's a zombie around the corner here, which I'm actually gonna use to shoot a bow. Or, I'm gonna use my bow on it, basically. I forgot how many hits this guy took. I'll take the mort flesh because it's a useful uh, crafting ingredient. Uh, I'll also be sneaky so I can get a sneak bonus. I kind of hope I don't go ranger in this because um, it's a lot harder to be an effective ranger in this than it is in a Skyrim. God damn it, he's opening me. Switch my sword. Okay, let's pick up my arrows. Okay, that was a very poor show of combat. Don't worry, I'll improve eventually. Uh, is that right? It doesn't have any arrows in him. Don't know how many I have. Oh, hi! His health didn't show up there for a moment, so I thought I had missed him. Or at least killed him in one shot. That'd be impressive, though. Okay. Oh, crap. <laughs> Don't accidentally unequip stuff. I just lit myself up like a torch. With a torch. Okay, where's the other one? There he is. Whoa. Wow, he can hit me from down there. That's an impressive rat. Although, to be fair, in this game, rats are very impressive with their jumping capabilities. Um, however, I believe this... I think I'll have to end this episode here, because it's getting quite... Um, long. Also, I missed a chest back here, I would think. Yeah, hidden under this cubbyhole. Last secret of the <laughs> episode, people. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed. Um, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.